There's this one question that's been keeping me up at night, and if even a fraction of it turns out to be true, it's gonna blow your mind. Here's the question. There's a thing called the Kardashev scale. It's a theoretical scale that ranks civilizations from level 1 to level 5 based on how advanced they are. And the last level. It's so wild, you can't even begin to imagine it. Level 1 is when a civilization has full control over its planet. Like, total control. In our case, that would mean we, humans, can control everything on Earth, from the weather to earthquakes. We'd be able to harness all the energy from the sun, the wind, the oceans, all of it completely under our control. We're not even at level 1 yet. Humanity currently sits at 0.73 on the scale. We've still got a long way to go. It could take hundreds, maybe even thousands of years to reach level 1. Now at level 2, a civilization can extract energy from their entire star. Picture building a massive shell or structure all around the sun, capturing 100% of its energy. Sounds like straight up sci-fi, right? But it's theoretically possible. That's level 2. Level 3. That's when a civilization is controlling energy from their entire galaxy. We're talking over 400 billion stars, and they'd be able to tap into all of it. They'd have colonies spread across star systems, building megastructures, and their tech would be so advanced they could literally teleport across the galaxy in seconds. At that point, they'd be godlike from our perspective. For a civilization still stuck at level 1, then comes level 4. This is where things get really crazy. A level 4 species can control energy from the entire universe. All the galaxies, all the matter, everything. The whole universe would operate at their command. So what the hell is level 5? Level 5 is where a species exists outside the physical laws of our universe. They're not just powerful, they're beyond comprehension. They could create or destroy entire universes like it's nothing. And that's the question that keeps me up at night. If this is even remotely possible, where do we fit in? For more wild science videos just like this, subscribe to Glyph Sensei.